welcome back to Rema Word with Holy Communion. We're so glad to have you join us today. We appreciate your support. It helps keep the ministry going for you and also for others. Today, we're going to look at a new beginning in first fruit. So Joshua's conquest in the, the, the land that, the promised land that God has given to them was that uh, they had to march around. We know that there were seven days that they marched around. We know that they had seven trumpets of the ram's horn, seven priests that were holding uh, and, and blowing the trumpet and leading the people. But even as they are entering into the land, right, it's a new beginning, it's a new place that they are entering into. Yet, there was one thing, one particular thing that God has stressed upon the people, which is that that particular land was supposed to be dedicated unto the Lord himself. That was the first place when they are entering into the promised land and God said, that is supposed to be dedicated to me. But what take place actually was that some of them had actually kept back some of the goods. In Joshua 7 was 1, the, the people, however, acted unfaithfully regarding the things devoted to destruction. Akan, son of Karmi, the son of Zabdi, the son of Zerah of the tribe of Judah, took some of what was set apart. So the anger of the Lord burned against the, Israel burned against the Israelites. Meanwhile, Joshua sent men from Jericho to Ai, which is near beth Aven, to the east of Bethel, and told them, go up and spy out the land. So the men went up and spied out Ai. And so they, were want they wanted to go and proceed on to the next particular place in order to conquest the land, even as God gave the, God gave the instruction to go out and drive out the inhabitants of the land because it's the land that He has given them. Yet, what actually take place was that the very first place where God said, dedicate this unto me, it was not dedicated unto them. And what happened was that trouble befall the people of God. And so what happened was that this man called Akhen, Akhan, he's, the, the meaning of his name is actually trouble or to be troublesome. And what happened was that he took the items that were supposed to be set apart, supposed to be dedicated and devoted to God himself. And so trouble came and trouble kept some. Now it's not so much that God doesn't want to share the goodness of the land with the people or God purposely lead them into a, a, a land of, of milk and honey and then restrain them from even taking the milk and honey in the first place. It's not about that at all. It's not that God wants to keep his riches from us or trying to keep and withhold back his goodness from the people of God. Instead, it was the very first place when God says, dedicate this unto me. If the whole, uh, the first batch is holy, then the whole batch is holy. And so they were now in uh, this promised land and any relic was a remnant of the old city. Any relic that they kept back was a remnant of the old order, the old way of doing things, the old way of getting the riches, the old way of how things are done. But now God says it's a new season, it's a new day, it's a new beginning, it's a new way of doing things. In Joshua 6 verse 18, but keep away from the things devoted to destruction, lest you yourself be set apart for destruction. If you take any of these, you will be set apart uh, you will set apart the camp for destruction and bring disaster upon it. And so we understand that the very root of the place was defiled. It was already defiled. And they are supposed to destroy every single element of it. In Leviticus 18.25, even the land was defiled, so I punished it for its sin, and the land vomited out its inhabitants. Now we know that God said, take possession, right? We have 2022 is the year of taking possession. Now 2023, what year is it? It's the year of awesome ingathering. But how do we have that awesome ingathering if we do not first honour God with the first fruits of our increase? How do we have that awesome in gathering in the very first batch? We do not first devote it to God and dedicate it to God. We know that it says in Romans 11 verse 16, If the first part of the dough is holy, so the whole batch, so is the whole batch. If the root is holy, so are the branches. So this very month is a very special month because the first month of the year in 2023, we want to dedicate it unto the Lord. This month, take very special care in, in praying and seeking God and honouring Him with your time or even with uh, your, your serving. We are honouring God even with what we have. So just like a house blessing where we get we have a pastor come in to anoint the, old, the new home or just like a new job, we have a pastor pray a, a prayer of blessing over your new job or even the first increase in your salary, we dedicate that first fruit to God. Now, a first fruit is different from tithes because a tithe is something that we give unto God uh, maybe weekly, uh, 
here at church. But with a first fruit, it's the first increase or the first gift or the first love gift or you could say the first ang pao that you have. It's the very, very first one which we say, God, I want to honor you. I want to honor you with my possession. So this very first paycheck or this very first um, increase in my salary, I want to dedicate it unto you. I want to give it unto you. We are honoring him with our possession. We are thanking him. It's out of gratitude. It's not because we are forced to give, but because out of gratitude, how much God has brought us through, how much God has blessed us through and through. So in Proverbs 3 verse 5, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will make your path straight. It's a very famous verse. We quote it all the time. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. But how do we actually practically apply it. How do we practically apply it? Anyone can say, I trust in the Lord. But we actually practically apply it with our possessions. We honour the Lord with our possessions. In verse 9, honour the Lord with your wealth and with the first fruits of all your harvest. The word harvest is also the increase. Verse 10, then your barns will be filled with plenty and your vats will overflow with new wine. Now, do you want your vats to overflow? Do you want to have that awesome in gathering harvest? Do you want that breakthrough, that insurmountable breakthrough that's happening and heading your way? Well, honour the Lord with your possessions and the wealth with the first fruits of your increase. That is the key. We trust in the Lord. Yes, if we take a step further, we plant in our first fruit. We give in our first fruit. And then our barns will be filled with plenty, vets overflowing. So we honour Him and with the first fruits. We honour Him, yes, with our tithes and yen, Yes, with our first fruits. In Exodus 23 verse 19, bring the best of the first fruits of your soil to the house of the Lord your God. We are honoring Him as the first, um, uh, first, first fruits that we are giving unto Him. And let's come to the Lord's table. The Lord Jesus Christ said, Take it, this is my body broken for you. The Lord Jesus Christ said, Take, drink, this is my blood poured out for you for the forgiveness of all your sins. The body and blood of Jesus Christ strengthen us unto eternal life. Nina 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 says, even as you give unto me this particular uh, season, this particular year, even as you dedicate to me that first fruits, even as you dedicate to me and you honor me and you show me, God says He's able to bring you. He, God says He's going to exalt you even to a place of excellence, even to a place that you never dreamed of, breakthroughs that are waiting beyond just for you. God says, even as you dedicate to me this first part of your first fruit, this first part of your day to the Lord, this first part of the year to the Lord, seeking Him and honoring Him, God says He is the one that's going to lead you and you're going to see that awesome in gatherings, that bundles on purpose that are just waiting for you to collect and pick them up. God says, I want you to claim it right now in Jesus' name. Everything that your hearts desire, God says, claim it, speak it right now. Claim it in Jesus' name. This is the season where the wealth of the wicked will be transferred into the righteous, into the people of God. Shoulder be healed right now in Jesus' name. Hands, the wrist part area, be healed in Jesus' name. The back be healed right now in Jesus' name. God says, get into His Word, get into His Word. The more you get into His Word and you study the Word of God and you're spending time with Him, He is able to lead you step by step. 
you won't be confused anymore but you will know clearly which is from the lot and which is not from the lot there are a lot of deals and business deals that may be handed your way but god says pray and ask of me and i will show you which one to take receive that supernatural favor someone is applying for something god says i'm giving you supernatural favor receive that right now in jesus name peace i leave with you peace i give unto you god says he's pouring out his peace there's someone here that's very fearful right now i just want to lift just want you to lift up your hands and receive that peace right now his peace amen the lord bless you and keep you the lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you the lord turn his face towards you and give you peace amen 